Hi everyone, it's Mr Hughes here from St Mary's High School. This is a short video on how to use Microsoft Teams. This video presumes that you've watched the introduction to Microsoft Teams video that looked at how to access Teams and basic functionality. This video is a little bit more in-depth and in-detail. So, without further ado, we'll get started. I'll click here on the introduction to Microsoft Teams 2 team I've created for this video. When you get into a team, it lands on this post page. Okay, there are five tabs acro uh, across the top. We've got posts, files, class notebook, assignments, and grades. Most teams will use the first four. There may be a subject that has teams set up that uses grades, um, but certainly the first four will be used by quite a lot of subjects in their team. So on the posts page, this is essentially a bit like a Facebook wall. And it's really the sort of living classroom part of Teams. This is where the teacher posts messages and students are expected to reply or engage in some way, shape or form. For a team to really work well, the post page should be quite active. And that's what you're hoping for. Pupils are encouraged to interact here and get involved. And it makes the teacher's life um, a little bit easier if pupils are doing that because they know that the messages and the, the information they're putting up is getting read. So I put up a message here um, to the students. I have added some course notes and PowerPoints to the Files tab. So I'm directing the students to have a look at those by clicking on our Files tab. When you click on it, um, there's only one folder here, but if a student's doing maybe a higher and advanced hire, there could be dozens of folders here of you know, worksheets, workbooks, course notes, PowerPoints, documentaries. But in the case of this, there's only one. So I'll click on that, and you can see that I've uploaded three um, resources, two PowerPoints and a worksheet. So a student could click on one of the PowerPoints, for example, if they wanted to learn a little bit about causes of poverty. And that should load up just like that. I'll get that out of the way. And you can look at it just there on the screen, if you're on your phone, your tablet, or on the laptop or whatever. If you want to print it out, you can click File, and you can bring it down to Print. And maybe if you're working at the kitchen table or something like that, print it off and take it over. You can also download it if you want to put it on a USB and access it later. To get back to the team, you just click Close up in the top right hand corner here. And that takes you back to the Files tab. Again, there could be lots and lots of resources there. The good thing about the Files tab is the resources, once they're uploaded, they're not going to disappear unless the teacher takes them down. So if something's been covered by the teacher and the student wants to go back and revise it, they can just come in here to the Files tab and everything can be downloaded onto a USB pen um, for use at a later date as well. So I'll go back to the Posts section um, because it's always good to go back to sort of the home page uh, where we've started. You can see I've given an assignment here. An assignment has been posted on the wall. That's when the teacher um, puts a task for the students to do. And that correlates with the assignments tab. So if I click view assignment there, it would take me into that tab. Or I could just click that tab to see the assignment. As you can see, it's went to the assignments uh, tab. Now I've set an assignment and the student will be able to see it appear. Sometimes it can take a wee bit of time to load up. Uh, Microsoft Teams is used pretty much by every single school in Scotland, so um, it can be overloaded at times. So you can hear, you can see here on the screen, I've set a poverty essay for the students. Um, the instructions are here, describe the extent of poverty in Scotland, or to write an essay on that, there'd be much more in-depth instruction than that by the teacher um, if they were setting an assignment. But just for an example, you can, see, you can get the idea. A student can click add, add work here if they have written up on a, a Word document and they can attach it and then they can click the hand in button here and that submits it to the teacher and the teacher can mark it or grade it, give feedback and so on. Um, so that's a, a really useful function of Teams um, when we're working um, digitally. Um, a lot of students are using laptops and iPads and so on now so they can, they can submit Word documents. If they, have written, if they have written it, that's not a problem. They can maybe take a picture of it and attach it as a picture um, and hand it in that way. That's fine as well. Another way to do work is um, by using the class notebook tab, this tab here. I use this with my higher class, for example. 
If I click on it, it takes you to the notebook that the teacher has set up. Now, essentially, the class notebook on Teams is the same as a traditional notebook that our people would use in school. It's where you can take notes down, write essays, um, make mind maps, whatever it is that you fancy doing. So the landing page says, welcome to your class notebook, and you click this little purple arrow here, and it opens up um, some tabs down the, the side here. Now, I've created a, um, a dummy pupil called St. Ninian's High School Pupil. So if I click on that, this will show you what a student would see. A couple of tabs underneath, class notes and essays. There could be various other tabs depending on what the teacher has set. So if I click on class notes, a student could do the work here. So task one, poverty, assignment. And then they could obviously go on and, and type up some information that they found out. And the teacher on their team can access this again give feedback and people can obviously see that feedback because this is this is updated live this saves it as you go there's no need to save this to usb pens or hard disks or networks this saves on a cloud so it's very useful for a pupil that's using an ipad or their phone perhaps that don't need to worry about saving anything um, onto disk so I'll go back to the post section of teams so that's really that's really the main the main tabs that a team would use, post files, class, notebook and assignments. Um, all students will be using them in at least one or two subjects. And you know, just sort of finish this video by reiterating the point that please encourage pupils to interact on the post section. If you're a pupil that's watching this to learn about teams, please interact on this section as well. Your teacher will appreciate it. Okay, all the best folks. See you later.